Hi everyone, this is Mary, you're in Mary Reads, and in today's video I decided to do a book tag, a book recommendations tag. I saw this tag on Literature List channel and I decided that it was perfect for like the first tag I do uh, because it's it, it will have a lot of books that I really like and I always like talking about books I loved. So let's get to the questions. And the first question is a book you tell people is your favorite and it's a little hard because these books ch tend to change. Um, not not just because of my mood, but also because I tend to forget um, some of the books that I read because, well, not the plot, but just like the, the names. So I was sitting there thinking about which book to put here and I, I was just blanking. I feel like there are so many books that I read, but because I only started writing down what I'm reading recently, fairly recently, I feel like I'm I'm forgetting a lot of books I read before that. But I would say Little Life. Uh, I love the story. I mentioned it a while, a while ago, and I keep mentioning it in all of my recommendations videos. Um, and I just, I love the story. It's, it's so heartbreaking. It's so emotional for me. And I always loved the book. I read it twice and I'm going to be rereading it. And I feel like this book will always be, uh, will always have a place in my heart. And the second question is a book that is your guilty pleasure. I don't really have books like that. I don't really feel guilty for the books I read. But I would say for me, it's Flavia de Luz uh, series. It's about this girl who uh, is kind of a detective and she um, tries to uncover uh, murderers. Uh, and she lives in this like very old house in 1950s. And she has two older sisters. She has a father. Her mother disappeared uh, during the war. And she keeps like coming over all of these different murders and um, she is the only one who can uncover them. Uh, it's a, I would say it's a children's series, um, but it's, it's kind of in between the children detectives and uh, adult mystery novels because um, usually children's, detective novels, mystery novels, have kind of like easy cases in the sense of like you don't really get murders. Um, these books can get pretty violent. Like I was reading and thinking how is that even like for kids? That's that's too much. So I kind of, for me, it's if I don't really want anything serious, like a serious mystery novel, um, and I don't, I, I want something lighter. Uh, this is the series I go to. Number three, a book that everyone loved but you didn't, and I think it wouldn't be a surprise uh, if you watched my video about eight books I wish I never read. Um, for me, it's The Alchemist. I think a part of my disappointment in the book is that I expected so much from it. I, I. I was trying to read it for like 10 years and I kind of could never get to it. And then I finally saw the book and I was like, okay, I have to read it. And I feel like me waiting for 10 years, hyping up my expectations was a mistake uh, because the book was turned out to be much worse than my expectations were. I don't know if I would think um, of it as bad as I did if I read it like when I was 13, 14, when I first saw the book. Uh, but yeah, I was very, very disappointed. The book that I read the fastest, I feel like it's a slightly vague question. There are so many different books. Some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller, some of them are easier to read, some of them are not. But let's say, like, let's take um, a normal sized novel, not like a short story or anything. Um, and I would say that it was The Cloud Atlas. I loved it. I recommended it to my husband. He loved it too. I did not like a movie though. Um, yeah, but I read it very fast. A book that deserves more hype. Um, I would say that it's Sister Carrie. I haven't seen it at all on booktube. I saw people talking about it in the sense that like, oh, I need to read it sometime. Uh, but I never saw 
anybody reading it and giving their review and I honestly don't understand why I thought it was an amazing book and I loved it so much. That's definitely something I'm gonna be rereading um, again and again. I loved it so much. The movie I did not like. Uh, the movie was not uh, like the book. It was completely different. It gave kind of like a different message. I, I did not like that. Um, but the book was just amazing and I wish people were talking about it more. A book that is becoming a movie or a TV show and I honestly don't know what books are gonna be becoming TV shows anytime soon. Um, I, I think I'll cheat and say that Agatha Christie's uh, novels uh, or stories um, I loved the first three movies that came out about Hercule Poirot. Um, it was The Orient Express, The Death on the Nile, and the third one, uh, Haunting in Venice. And I read that they're planning on releasing more movies uh, based on her stories, on Agatha Christie's stories. I don't know which one it's gonna be, but I feel like no matter what they choose, it's gonna be something amazing. And yeah, I would say that it has to be Agatha Christie's um, Hercule Poirot novels or stories. A book you have reread the most, and it has to be Harry Potter series. Um, it's probably cheating because uh, like so many people love the book and or the series and reread it. Um, but yeah, for me, it's actually the book that I read many times. Um, I think I read each of uh, the books like so I read the whole series three times and I know I will be rereading it I'm actually even thinking about making it a yearly reread um, probably not because reading seven books every year is a big commitment but yeah I was actually considering doing that because I just love the series so much Number eight, a book from a genre you don't usually read. And for me, it has to be Sendlin Ascends. That's the book I read in February, and I will tell you about it a little bit later. Um, but it's something that I usually don't read. And I even said in my February reading plans that that's the type of book I'm, I'm kind of interested in the plot, but I'm not sure I will like because that's not really my genre. I don't take such things but I really liked the book and I will be continuing with the series. I don't know if I'm gonna like the rest uh, as much as the first one, but I was very, very pleasantly surprised by the first book of Babel series. Number nine, a book that deserves all the hype it gets and I think it should be The Secret History by Donna Tartt. Um, I loved the book when I read it and I realized that there are so many different like hints, so many different connection that the book has to Greek mythology, to philosophy, and I definitely missed a lot of those um, links, but I'm actually watching like a series of videos about um, the secret history, so the lady goes through each chapter and she shows us like the signs of what the author wanted to say and what the author wanted to reference here and there. And it's very interesting. The book is just opening uh, in a completely different way and I want to reread it uh, once I finish watching that series of videos to kind of um, see more. I feel like the more, this is the type of book that the more you read, the more you find. And I just, yeah, I, I love those books and I think it deserves all the hype that it gets. Number 10, a book you usually recommend to people. That depends actually because, well, it depends on what a person wants to read or what a person uh, likes to read. So if a person like doesn't like mystery novels, obviously I'm not gonna recommend them Agatha Christie even though I love Agatha Christie. Um, but I would say that usually I recommend uh, Little Life. I recommended it to like a lot of people and the second book that I recently started recommending is actually Senlin Ascents. Um, I recommended it to my dad and my husband and I don't know if they're gonna like it, but it's just, it's, I was very, very pleasantly surprised with the book. Um, I loved it so much. Um, and yeah, that, those are the two that I would say I mostly recommend. 
a book that has your favorite characters. Um, I usually don't feel like any strong feelings towards the characters, but I would say that The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes probably is the, uh, the series. Um, I love Sherlock Holmes. I love how independent, how uh, smart, how um, unhuman he is. It's just a great type of character uh, that I really, really like. Um, and I, yeah, I would, I would say that that has to be it. A book you wish you could live in, and I have to say Pride and Prejudice. I, uh, I even had this conversation with someone and I was like, I feel like I would look good in that time. I, I feel like that, that's more of my time than today. Um, obviously it's probably not, uh, but like, I, I just feel like that would be a great time to live in and I would love to live in Pride and Prejudice. A book you thought you'd hate, but you actually loved it. I don't, I can't say I, I knew I would, I thought I would hate the book, but I had very, very low expectations. And this is Mrs. Fletcher. I didn't expect much from it. I just found it um, downstairs, like in the lobby of our building, we have like this little stand where people leave their books so anyone could get them and read. Um, I saw it, I was like, okay, sure, why, why not? And I actually really, really enjoyed it. And um, it, was, it was a great book. I want to read the other books of this author now because uh, if the rest of the books are like this one, it's just, it, I would fall in love with the author. It would be my new, one of my favorite authors. Number 14, a book that made you cry. I don't really cry over books very, very rarely. And the last book that I vividly remember crying about was The Green Mile by Stephen King. I was so shocked. I was so upset. Um, I was so like shattered inside. I cried. Yeah, I cried a bunch. I cried a bunch and I, I don't want to watch a movie. I can't even imagine watching a movie. Um, yeah, but that, that book was amazing. That, that book just made me, uh, see Stephen King completely differently. And yeah, I, I didn't know anything about The Green Mile. I took it thinking that it's going to be like a classic Stephen King with like mystery, uh, something scary, something, maybe even like a little bit sci-fi. I, I had no idea what the book is about. And I read it and I cried my eyes out. It was, yeah, it was bad. And the last uh, point, the last question, a book that you would like to read like the first time. And again, that's probably cheating, but I feel like it's Harry Potter. Um, I was recently talking to my friend and she, she has never read Harry Potter and she recently watched a movie. Um, and she's like, oh, I should probably read the books. I love the movies, so I should probably read the books. Why not? And I was so jealous of her because she only has all of those um, adventures. Uh, she, she will experience it. And I have already experienced it so many times. I saw the movies, I read the books and rereading is fun, but it's never as fun as just reading it for the first time. And I still remember how I was a kid and the books were just coming out. Um, and I was waiting for each book uh, so eagerly and how the movies were coming out, how I would go like, I remember when the second, um, the second movie, like the eighth part came out and I went with my parents and I couldn't wait. Uh, I think we went on like the opening night and I couldn't wait. Mm. So yeah, that's that's definitely the book I would like to read like it's my first time. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Please like it and subscribe to the channel if you like the video and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.